Hey guys, this is um, Nine Sim Lego Maniac. This is going to be a very different video than other videos I've made. Now, um, I just want to... I really don't want to remind people, but... I'm, I'm sure there's people on YouTube who have no idea. So, last week, um, my good friend Jackson Herbert, aka Wavy Films, passed away. And if you guys have been following him on Instagram, because a lot of the Lego community are really active on Instagram, because so that's where you get much majority of the news. Jackson has been battling cancer for over a year. Uh, it's like this rare, aggressive like cancer in, uh, this for the, on the bone, and Jackson did everything he could. He's taken medications. He's been going through chemo. He's been going through. He even he even went through surgery. To get his leg amputated, where the where it can where the cancer was worse, he got he got it amputated, but even still, it just wasn't enough. Um, and so Jackson just couldn't deal with the pain, and so he asked the doctor for medical suicide, and because of that, he passed away on March 11th at 12:15 a.m. This is a very devastating news for the majority of the community. And it was very devastating to me because um, me, along with um, other or my uh, my friends who get who's who get to meet Jackson more, uh, such as Jason, Jay Sparky Steel, Tim, Tim Can Two Nine Nine Four, and Dan Kaiju Dan, and others as well. I'm not excluding them as well, but these are the friends who I also knew in my group. Um, it's been a, it's been devastating for us. And it's been very devastating for his family, as well. I I made this video a week a week later because um, I've been going through grieving uh for the for the following week. I'm still sorry I am going through grieving. It's just, but I'm definitely feeling better now. So those who who are wondering, uh, and my friends, uh, who are wondering if I how I'm doing. I'm I'm still getting better, but I think I'm definitely better than I was um last week. The first few days after his passing was just not has been really rough on me, especially um for my other friends as well and especially his family too. Um, I gave my I gave my thoughts and I gave my tribute to Jackson on Instagram, but I wanted to make a YouTube video to reach to those who who don't who don't have an Instagram and who probably have not heard the news. Um, I just wanted I just wanted to make a video a tribute to Jackson and talk about more that I couldn't say on Instagram um, at all because of the because of the character limit there. I couldn't type up everything what I wanted to say so I wanted to speak about it here. Um, how, I, how did I met Jackson? I met Jackson, uh, he was originally just like a, any normal fanboy that I, I would encounter. She's saying, oh yeah, this is cool, this is awesome and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that comment a million times before. Um, so Jackson's been like a, like a fan of mine saying that, oh, I inspire, I'm one of the people who inspired him and all. And I didn't really give him much thought at first because he's, again, he's just like any other fanboy who just comments the same thing. So I, they're just like noise to me. But then I was curious. I was very curious about him though. So I decided to check out his work. And I was amazed. I saw his work, looked through it more, saw his Jesse Quick, and it was because of, and right then and there, I followed him. And during that time when I followed him, Jackson uh, said that Jackson was, at, uh, was waiting for his mom to pick him up after school. And he got a notification that I followed him. And that to him was like the, the best news of his life. Uh, <laughs> At least that's what I remember. What Jackson told me uh, back in Break Fair 2017, when um when I get to hang out with him more. And then um, after that, we were we were in the group chat together on Instagram, and we we naturally became friends. I've we've shared ideas. We talked about Marvel, and Star Wars, DC, all that. It was a, it was a lot of fun. It was nice to have like a fresh new blood in our in our um our circle group of friends, and Jackson was really like he's like he's like the most positive person I've ever met. Uh yeah he sometimes he would um 
he would sometimes fight. I mean, we might, might disagree in certain things. And he's not 100% pure. I mean, no human being really is. But the way Jackson acts, though, even during his time through cancer, he there's there's one thing that never goes away, that never crushed his spirit. It's his, it's his enthusiasm, his positivity. He's always positive around anyone, no matter what. And it especially shows during Break Bear. And he... And the more he talks about his experience, and the more he talks to us, his friends, about what he's going through, and we're always there for him, his sense of humor never goes away. And that's what I really respect about Jackson. He's one of the most bravest persons I've ever met. No, I've never met a kid, a 16-year-old kid, battling a year through pain and suffering, and still managed to, to get him to break a smile, and still have enough, when wants to have enough strength to visit his friends in New York City and up here in Rochester. Be I remember before, uh, be one time when um, Tim, uh, who was going to attend RIT, when he came to RIT for like an open house or something like that, um, Jackson wanted to come hang out with me and Tim. And that's what we did. And we saw Ready Player One together. That was a lot of fun. I believe this was like tw early 2018 too. It's so literally a few months before he got cancer. Um... So yeah, um, so we we hang out. We had a lot of fun, and even and when he got cancer, and we're all praying for him, we're all trying to support him. Jackson still you know, came to Brick Fair. He still visited me and Tim in Rochester. Dan was also in, uh, here too. And earlier this year, uh, we decided to do a huge uh, meetup at New York. So it was me, Tim, Jackson, Jason. Jason flew all the way from Florida to here to hang out with us, and it was a lot of fun. Even though Jackson had a flu during that time in New York. The amount of time we spent with him, at least, even though it didn't go exactly what I was playing, was still great and a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, re I remember in 2017. You've got you guys. If you guys remember, uh, I made a video talking about my experience in uh, Brick Fair 2017. Jackson was in my video quite a lot, and we called ourselves the Lego Trinity only because someone made a, a really funny meme of um, Jace. Jason, me, and Jackson as like the, the Trinity of DC and Ross's Doomsday. <laughs> so we, I decided to make that in like sick. I decided to use our sick pics and edit the photos there, and I decided to use that as my thumbnail. So yeah, we were like the, the Lego Trinity, and I was really, I'm really happy to be part of Jackson's life, and I'm really happy that he was part of mine. Jackson, even though Jackson has been like, hey, you know, you've been an inspiration to me. To be on, to be honest, Jackson wasn't an inspiration. He was my inspiration. He taught me, he taught me a lot about myself, and yeah, he was just like, just his enthusiasm, his attitude really struck us, and it really, and he left a huge impact in the community. He inspired so many countless others, and even though he was not, even though he himself doesn't consider himself a big customizer like Aaron Ross and any others like that. I honestly disagree with that. I think he's. I think to me, Jackson is up, is is way above him, because of the because of his story, because of his trial, it that that just spoke to a lot of people in the community, and um, yeah, I'm glad I I I, re, I mean right now I'm I'm really trying not to tear up. I think I'm doing better <laughs> than compared to last week. Like, cause if I filmed this video uh, last week, shut up, phone. Um, if I filmed this video last week, I would be bawling in tears and I would be too embarrassed to upload it. So that's why, I, and I wouldn't be able to speak coherently. I'm not speaking coherently right now. This isn't just me just go rambling without a script. So, I know there's a lot of people who are still grieving. And, and those who know Jackson personally, whether you're a family member or you're also a friend of his. Yes, we, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't, it's okay to be sad. It is totally fine. It's okay to go talk to someone about this, and even whether you're you're you think you're over it, but you will probably cry about it later, or you're still grieving about it now. It's okay, let it out. But in the end, we should remind ourselves what Jackson has done for us, the impact he has left in our lives, in the community, in the in his in his circle group of friends, in his personal life, in, in his school. In his, well, within his family members. We should never forget about that. We should cherish all the memories we have of him. I certainly do. I remember all, I remember and I still cherish the figures that he made for me and 
his family was actually very kind enough to contact me along with his other friends to give out a few of his customs, give out some of his customs. And if you guys are wondering what customs I want to take, um, I offered, I were offered to give them money by the way, because I wanted, because I thought it would be a good idea to give them, to pay for Jackson's figure so they can use that money either for his funeral expense or probably, or donate to like, um, cancer research or something like that. Uh, they offered, but they said, no, we won't, we won't make you pay for anything. So I asked them for maybe a, if, if he still has it, his Jesse Quick, because that was the figure that I found him. So I, so that has a special place in my heart. And I asked them for like his bravest warriors figures that he had never finished because Jackson asked me if, if, um, if I could sculpt him hair pieces from that show. I did. I completed it and I gave it and I gave it to him. At, uh, I gave it to him. I believe either when he visit me again in Rochester or I give him to a break for 2018. Um, whatever. Um, Jackson unfortunately never finished that project. So what I want to do, I want to finish it for him. So I'm going to add bravest warriors in my list and to honor him and, and, um, and cherish those figures. And, um, what else I want to say? You know, in, in the end guys, we don't really get to choose how much, how long we can spend time with the person we care about. Because we, who knows what can happen. So my advice to you guys is, whoever is your close one, spend time with them as much as possible. You will never know, you will never know when those, um, those time, uh, when you, you'll never have that chance again. We don't get to choose who we were our friends with, who we might fall in love with, or anything. But when bad things happen, and when they certainly do, that should not diminish the good times we spend time with them. And what we learn about ourselves. And I know a lot of us are really sad that we won't see anything, we won't see his future content, or we won't see his finished work. But instead of fretting of what we won't see from him anymore, smile that it happened. Be happy the fact that he he made he made his mark out there in the community. His work with his work will always be there no matter what. And the figures that you like from him and that made you inspire, that figure will never go away, guys. It will always be on his Instagram, his Flickr, or whatever social media he has. And so just cherish that. Cherish the memories you have. And you know, just smile at the fact that Jackson was able to share his work and to inspire others. I think that's something that Jackson would want us to remember him. He doesn't want us to feel sorrow. He would want us, he, we, he wants us to be happy that A, he's no longer suffering anymore. He's, he's out there living, living in a good place, a safe place where he would never, where he would never go through pain anymore. And B, he wants to smile at the fact that the fact that his work is out there, and the fact that if if you guys are inspired by Jackson, share that with others. Jackson, get, I'm clearly Jackson touched your lives. He certainly touched my life, and if he touched yours, whether if you, if you just know him, um, if you if you're really good friends with him, or you're just or you're just a fan of his work, either way. Share that experience that Jackson gave to you with others. That's something that Jackson would want. And I think that's something that we should, all, we should all as a community should definitely do. Jackson's death should not be taken as a, as a sad thing in the end. It's okay to be, again, like I said, it's okay to be sad. But we should use Jackson's passing as an opportunity to unite the community together. That's, that's what Jackson would want. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for all the support you've been giving to Jackson. It's It's been very touching for his family and his friends. So thank you. On the behalf of the community. Um, or at least on, beha on the behalf of um, Jackson's, one of Jackson's closest friends. I want to thank you. He may be gone. But his world will keep on spinning. Thank you.